Well, before the bell, there comes the bell, and the grappler just rushed across that ring to attack a man the crowd just met, Ricky Morton. And Ricky took one blow and then responded in explosive fashion. That's young Ricky Morton. He's got the fire of Tommy Rich and the fire of Tom Pritchard. But this is Ricky Morton. Comes from Nashville, Tennessee. Who weighs somewhere between 210 and 220. And he is up against the grappler, the man with the built up boot. The man who next Friday night will face Bruiser Brody, whether grappler wins or loses this match. He will face Bruiser Brody, who promises to have a pair of boots. There's a driving wallop, and Ricky Morton's looking for a pin. He's got him wrapped up. There's two. He came close to it, and he's got the fire. Ricky Morton. So Martin here in a brief period of just a couple of moments has really electrified this crowd on this cold night. I'll tell you, there's plenty of heat here in this building. They are with it. And now Ricky is facing the rising wrath of the grappler. And grappler now is trying to end this threat to his superiority. Top man is the mask man, the grappler. That right boot of his is the one about which there has been so much controversy and has aroused the ire of Big Blues of Brody. And Ricky Morton was ready and rolled out. Side headlock. Morton has it, and he puts the squeeze on the head of the grappler. That long hair becomes an asset to your opponent when he can reach up there and grab it. So as Grappler moves in, takes a waist lock, he controls the man who is outweighed. But look at the fire in this man. He's going for the small package. He's trying to wrap it up. And, and as Grappler that time was literally thrown because he, he, he coiled uh, Ricky Morton like a spring that has a foot over the rope. A foot over the rope, and there is the manager, Buck Robley, who is carrying on an argument with uh, Ricky Morton in order to give his man an opening. Robley, by his appearance on the outside of the ring, was enough of a threat, but he got into a verbal juice with, the, with young Ricky. There's a drop right in around the throat, around the jaw, and again, as he drops in there's another smashing wallop Ricky is one of the bright young stars in the nation and I'm sure Houston fans are going to agree underneath Ricky Morton there again he managed to marshal those muscles to coil up and to bounce out of trouble and The grappler hanging on to the nose, the mouth, and the throat of Morton all at the same time. He's go going now to drop in. Oh, and he came in with his weight that time. We'll see whether this youngster can take it. He can sure, oh, he can dish it out. Whoa, whoa, nicely done. He splashed in there, he drove it in there. He, he exploded. Here is Buck Robley up there arguing with the 
with Ricky Morton, who has five been minutes in, in, in the knee. The five minute mark has been has been reached as the grappler comes in and goes after that left leg, which he has kicked. Here is a kick again by by the grappler, and he's working on the uh, upper part of the leg. And Bruiser Brody is carrying a boot with him and is trying to take off the boot of the uh, of the young Ricky Morton to give him a, a shoe to wear against the uh, against the grappler. And and Nick Kozak is trying to keep Bruiser Brody from taking part in the match. And Morton is having his problems there. Here is Brody. He has caused a furor here at the ringside as referee Nick Kozak sent him and his shoe barreling back to the dressing room. And Robley is trying to send the grappler into take charge of that leg. Trouble for, for young Ricky Morton. And the grappler again with that peculiar motion of his. And he comes over not kicking Morton in the head as he has done with so many of his opponents but in that leg that he has already injured, kicking the thigh muscles, kicking the knee, and taking after him. And as he drives Ricky through the ropes, Ricky is on the apron trying to hang on to that, um, that leg, and referee Nick Kozak trying to see whether Ricky can continue or not, and Nick Kozak calls for the bell, and evidently sees enough evidence of damage to that leg to be able to, to stop this match to... Ricky Morton can no longer continue the match. Referee Nick pulled that award for that to the grappler. The driving kicks into the knee and Nick Kozak makes a decision that since the Young Ricky Morton is having his problem, problem standing.